Beast. So Savior getting his overlords away, not losing any of his overlords. Beast bringing the uh, Dragoon around. So far hasn't been able to kill a single overlord. Savior just sending a couple of Zerglings out just to take care of that Dragoon and protect his overlord from it. Uh, Beast now got a couple of Zealots as well. Uh, and Savior just sending a few Zerglings down. He hasn't put the Hydra's down, so he can't set up a contain. Uh, but he is going to have that Spire out fairly early, and that's going to hurt Bisu because his Corsairs aren't going to be able to do much. Savior putting another expansion down at the... 8 o'clock position. Bisu really needs to do something here. He cannot let this go on for too long. He doesn't seem to be in a good position in his tech, and I'm not sure why Bisu seems so far behind to me. Bisu is now getting his robotics facility up. Savior obviously translated that uh, nine pool into a. F uh, and, and actually, Savior's lair. Yeah, Savior did translate that nine pool into a, into a tech, and it looks like Bisu is now putting his robotics facility down. So we might be seeing reverse air from Bisu. Uh, and I think if there's any player who's capable of pulling off reverse air against Savior, I think that would have to be Bisu. And Savior now has got the hard list up as well, and it looks like he's putting another hatchery down at his natural and the third hatchery down going down at the 8 o'clock expo so Savior really macroing up here and bisu has got to put some pressure soon here because otherwise he's going to find himself overrun by Zerg units he really needs to lay some hurt and Savior with the sp early spire up and, and Bisu's Corsair scouts that immediately runs away uh, and looks like Bisu's upgrading something in his cybernetic score I'm not sure I don't think it would be Dragoon range so he might be upgrading um, Air defense for his Corsairs potentially, or attack, realizing that uh, plus one defense upgrade scourges are so lethal against those Corsairs. Uh, and now, Bisu retreating to his ground force, which there isn't really much of, and he's not really going to be able to do, inflict any damage, so he's not going to be able to mess with Savior's timings at all. I don't think he's killed a single Overlord, and now that Corsair's going to get taken down by the Scourges. First Scourge hits, the Scour Corsair's still running away, Savior chasing it down the Corsair, trying to get it within range of the Photon Cannons, along with support of the second Corsair. There's a shuttle out as well, and the Corsair does hit. I think it did take that uh, second, the first Corsair did go down. The shuttle is now out for Bisu. He's got two Corsairs and a shuttle out. Savior now coming with another couple of Scourges. If he catches the shuttle here, Bisu's going to be in huge trouble. One of the Scourges hits and Savior does a run by with three Zerglings managing to sneak into Bisu's base. So he's going to get the scouting information, although I'm sure he already knows, seeing that robotics facility, that Bisu is going to be coming out with the uh, Reaver Ser. Uh, and Bisu now just pushing out with a couple of Zealots, with about five Zealots and a Dragoon uh, with Ser support. He's going to be able to pick off one Overlord, but uh, that, that Overlord kill has come far too late. And Savior's got a Zergling burrowed in Bisu's main. That is going to hurt Bisu big time. Citadel going up for Bisu and Savior is going to see that. I'm not sure if Bisu is aware of that borrowed Zergling. Um, even if he is, he'd have to put a photon gun on Savior probably just move that Zergling around. So until Bisu gets an Observer out, he's not really going to be able to do anything about it. Uh, and it looks like Bisu has ushered that Zergling. So Savior has moved that Zergling. Bisu now putting pressure on Savior's expansion. But Savior has now got Hydralis streaming in. Uh, he did put that dead down after his Spire came up uh, and he's got more than enough units here. Uh, Savior again trying for another run by with Zerglings but this time Bisu is prepared. Leaves a couple of Zealots behind that popped out uh, rather than sending them into reinforce and uh, Saber's Hydralis are going to clean up Bisu's Zealots because that Citadel of Adon has only just been been built uh, so he's, he wouldn't have Zealot speed right now and unfortunately for Bisu he's sacrificed and this is this is I'm not sure this is such a clever move by Bisu here because he's lost all his Zealots in that attack and, and a Protoss player really needs to build up that army I know even if he's going for Reaver's there he's got his first Reaver out uh, but he's, he's in a really precarious position right now because Saber potentially could be getting drop tech and Dropping Bisu and the the the, the he he really need Bisu's gonna have to inflict some serious damage with his first attack on Savior because right now things are looking very bad for him. Savior seems to be in complete control of this game and I don't understand how it's happened. It didn't seem to me like Savior's build should have given him such a huge advantage or such a huge lead. Yet Savior seems to be far ahead and it's all gonna come down to this one attack from Bisu. Savior coming in with the scourge is trying to cast a shuttle. Bisu intercepts skillfully with the corsairs and now Bisu uh, heading out. Savior coming in with another couple of scourges trying to cast the shuttle as the leading, bringing in Hydras to intercept as well. Uh, and what he's gonna do here with the Scourges just delay that push a little bit more, but he's not going to be able to delay it enough. Savior does have a couple of Hydralis there, but his main is going to come under heavy fire there. He doesn't have a lot of units. He, he needs to pull his Hydralis back because he did send those Hydralis in the middle to intercept, but he wasn't able to land the intercept. Once again, Savior just buying himself a little bit of time with those Scourges. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't expect to hit the shuttle with them. Uh, he would probably consider it lucky if he did. But now Bisu is going to be in trouble here because he's going to be pincered from both sides. Uh, the shuttle going into Savior's main, uh, and Savior does, and the shuttle now go heading towards Savior's National Expo, and the shuttle is unprotected by Corsairs. There's two Scourges heading towards it. This is going to be almost disastrous for Bisu. One of the Scourges almost lands a hit. Bisu brings the Corsairs back just in time. Now he's in Savior's main. He still hasn't dropped yet. Savior with Burrow and Bisu cannot hurt Savior's economy. This is disastrous for Bisu. That Burrow being used magnificently by Savior and Bisu is forced to retreat. Bisu's attack comes to nothing and you've got to feel that that's GG here. We saw Reaver Ser with Stork against Savior in the previous game and we saw how Savior thwarted it and we saw that when, once Stork did not inflict significant damage to Savior early on, from that point on it was Savior's game because Savior's economy was too strong and Savior once again Again, using Burrow brilliantly. Obviously, Bisu not having the time to get observers in play, not having the resources to do that as well. 
And now Saber is going to take the 9 o'clock position, and Saber's got resources, now got units to defend at multiple fronts. Those Hydras almost catching that shuttle off guard, uh, and that shuttle, all by its lonesome, unprotected, going to go and drop at the 9 o'clock expo. I don't think Saber's going to mind it too much because it's, a, it's an undefended expo. Now, Beast is coming, coming around with the shuttle. That shuttle's going to get caught this time for sure. There's no escape for that shuttle. He drops a Zealot. Uh, I guess I guess that shuttle had a Reaver and two Zealots in it, but this shuttle is going to get taken out, and I just don't understand what Beast is doing here. He manages to, oh my god, he somehow manages to evade a path carve a path. It's like flying in, in an anti-aircraft uh, valley and flying through. And Bisu's managed to sneak a DT into Savior's main uh, and Bisu's spreading DTs all over. But yet again, the burrow is thwarting Bisu. Bisu's not able to inflict any serious damage because Savior is just burrowing his units. Uh, and that DT is now going to get taken out because there is a spore colony waiting there as well. So so all of Bisu's tricks, Savior knows them. Savior has seen all the weapons that Bisu can throw out. He's seen the nunchucks. He's seen the ninja stars. He's seen the daggers. He's seen the katana. He has seen everything that Bisu's got to throw at him, and Savior has his counter ready. He's got his shield, uh, and he's got his evasion, and there's nothing Bisu can do. Bisu now trying to take that expansion at the three o'clock position, but Savior's got a massive ground force here, and I'm not sure if Bisu has enough to go toe to toe with him. Despite the reverse Sarah combo, uh, Bisu really needs to get that fleet beacon up and perhaps uh, get some disruption webs. Now Savior coming in with scourges, managed to catch a few of the corsairs. The shuttle, I believe, still Bisu doing a great job of keeping that shuttle alive, and now he's got a couple of uh, zealots to provide a wall against Hydras. Those zealots are probably going to get taken down. Savior trying to close in on an expansion. bisu has got a, that expansion up. He's got a couple of photon cans, but he doesn't have nearly enough. Savior fighting in the middle of the field. Bisu now bringing out an Archon as well. A couple of Reavers drop in at that expansion. So Bisu should be able to hold that expansion because he's now got his little Protoss ball. He's got he's got the Archon, a couple of Zealots, uh, and... Uh, a re and a couple of Reavers as well, but Savior coming in, focusing down on those Reavers. Where is the shuttle? I think Savior might have actually managed to take that shuttle down. He manages to snipe one of the Reavers, so at least he, he didn't lose uh, all those Hydras for nothing. Bisu's now got five gateways up, and he has got that expansion secured, so Bisu is fighting hard to get back in this game. Savior uh, losing a lot of Hydras in that attack, and that's just going to buy Bisu a little bit of time he needs. Now Bisu going in with the Corsairs, realizing that Savior lost a lot of Hydras, trying to take down some of those Overlords to slow Savior down, but Savior has replenished his Hydras force quickly enough, uh, and his economy is in, and Savior almost switching into what we could call Sauron Zerg. He's got, he's got five, well, he's got four bases, really, but he's got tons of hatcheries, uh, and now uh, Bisu ret retreating with that shuttle to pick up another Reaver, and he might lose a Reaver he had in the process. This is going to be disastrous for Bisu, and he's going to lose his expansion as well. Savior affecting us around. He takes down the Reaver. The shuttle arrives. It's got another Reaver in it, uh, with only the one Reaver. Savior now uh, flanking Bisu from both directions. He just doesn't have enough uh, de Zealots, more Zealots coming into play. Bisu looks like he's just about going to hold this defense. Bisu desperately needs to hold here. Savior fighting a retreating battle, and Savior's going to be forced back by Bisu. Bisu just about holds his defense under severe pressure from Savior. Uh, and Bisu, meanwhile, was for foraying with his... Corsair is trying to snipe some overlords. I'm not sure if he was successful in that, but Bisu's defense holds yet again. The problem for Bisu, and Bisu once again managed to get, get a couple more overlord kills with his Corsairs, and he's going to be able to escape with them. The problem for Bisu is that he's not able to build up that critical mass. Once a Protoss player can get uh, two shuttles filled with Reavers, four Reavers supported by Sears, it becomes incredibly difficult for the Zerg player 